The Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan, a Middle Eastern crossroads and long an oasis of stability. Lately, also a safe haven for well over a million refugees from trouble-torn neighbors. Within this context, the kingdom is accelerating its drive along the path of representative democracy. In 2012, King Abdullah initiated a series of landmark constitutional and political reforms designed to consolidate the country's democracy. As part of its support for democracy in Jordan, the EU stands full square behind the King's reform drive. In 2017, it started financing the EU JDID program, which seeks to support Jordan's democratic institutions and development by underpinning these reforms. This is an innovative implementation program led by the European Centre for Electoral Support, ECES, and its partners, the European Partnership for Democracy, the Westminster Foundation for Democracy, the Netherlands Institute for Multi-Party Democracy, and the French Agency for Media Cooperation. EU JDID targets the National Election Commission, Parliament, civil society leaders, and the media, with a range of activities focusing on competence building, awareness building, and, crucially, new relationship building. Inside that, there is a focus on women and young people, as the EU's ambassador to Jordan explains. We are uh, supporting uh, democratic development uh, with this objective in mind, increasing the participation of all Jordanians uh, in political processes. In the framework of this project, uh, we work with the different institutions and stakeholders, uh, the Independent Electoral Commission, uh, the Parliament, uh, civil society, uh, and political parties. And these are all stakeholders that have a particular role in the democratic development in Jordan. More specifically, the project aims to support Parliament by strengthening its professionalism, transparency and accountability to the people who have elected it, to enhance the independent election commission's management of elections, professional, transparent, credible to support the political party system and the contribution parties make to democratic governance and policy making, to nurture the development of a vibrant community of civil society organizations. At the Jordanian parliament, its secretary general, Faras Al-Adwan, speaks with pride of what the institution represents. Before we enter the parliament domo, I want to show you something, these two verses from the Holy Quran. Which is means that you, they said, should discuss their issues between each other. And before you take any decision, consult them. These two verses is simply means democracy. EU Jadid is the main and the biggest project that's working with us in the parliament. It's supporting the jobs and working of the member of parliament and the staff in their uh, job, uh, which is uh, legislation and oversight in seminars, training courses. Uh, one of the most important area of cooperation is the electronic transformation, e uh, the e-parliament. What we see here now in the dome, it's the electronic uh, and voting system, which support completely by the EU Jadid project and a lot of uh, applications, systems in human resource management, uh, in legislation uh, of and oversight, and also in media. Since we work together in this project, I notice a lot of uh, changes in the aspects that relating to the parliament working to achieve uh, the goals of uh, transparency and good governance. One concrete result of the House of Representatives' march to modernization is the state-of-the-art e-voting equipment, complete with touch voting and capacity for live streaming. It's a system designed to make the parliament more transparent, accountable and accessible to Jordanians. Another is that some of parliament's youngest members ever were elected for the first time in 2016 and the highest numbers of women. I'm considered one of the youngest women uh, MPs. I got the chance to, uh, uh, to um, uh, take part in the uh, uh, 2016 elections and uh, I got uh, support from all categories, old people, women, men, uh, young people. Uh, they all encouraged me to, to take the step 
because uh, they all need a change. At the heart of this drive for change is the Independent Election Commission. Our mandate and our uh, target is uh, to run an impartial, just and transparent election. This is what we did uh, since, since had been found in 2013, first election, and we continue the same process. Uh, we uh, are focusing now to encourage this group of people, youth, because they are the future, we believe in that, to come and to build their country as they like to see it in future. The Independent Election Commission was established in 2012 and mandated to conduct democratic elections at all levels of government. It conducted its first general elections the following year and has run second general elections in 2016 and local elections in 2017. It's been a period of rapid change, says one of the IEC's commissioners. I have seen a lot of change since 2013 until the last elections that we conducted in 2017. We do have interns who come to work with us in, uh, during the, uh, the election and we bring in the interns because they are young from universities. They become our voices to encourage other young people around them uh, to uh, participate in the political process. Uh, with the election uh, committee uh, for the registration, we make sure that there is always at least 30 percent of Woman. Jordan's political party system is many coloured and relatively young, starting in the 1920s. Its development today is supported by EU JDID, but as a senior official explains, it's not without challenges. <laughs> وهذه الأحزاب موجودة على الساحة لكن تواجه عدة تحديات أبرز هذه التحديات يمكن القول أنه للآن الوصول وصول الأحزاب السياسية إلى السلطة التشريعية والبرلمان لا تزال كافية ودون المأمول حقيقة هذا البرنامج مهم جدا وهو يعني بالوقت الحالي إحنا بنعتمد كثيرا على هذا البرنامج وعلى دعمه في تحقيق الرؤية اللي إحنا يعني أو الأهداف اللي نسعى من خلالها إلى تطوير العمل الحزبي في الأردن وبناء قدرات الأحزاب السياسية وأيضا دعم مشاركة المواطنين في الأحزاب وخصوصا فئة الشباب. This third component of EU JDID, a multi-million euro program supporting Jordan's 48 political parties, has concentrated on training, capacity building programs, and technical assistance. This in itself flows into support for civil society, an important component which provides checks and balances in democracy, and into the fourth component of the programme, implemented by the Spanish Agency for International Development Cooperation. Young people speak of the need for space in Jordan's evolving political environment. <laughs> تحتاج إلى تفعيلها على أرض الواقع ضمن برامج وخطط من الحكومات من مؤسسات المجتمع المدني ومن قبل أشخاص من قبل أشباع أنفسهم بحبها بهذا المجال فهذا من حيث واقع الحياة السياسية في الأردن حقيقة إذا هي تمر في مرحلة تحول ديمقراطي ومرحلة تطور ديمقراطي بحاجة إلى مشاركة سياسية شبابية فاعلة على أرض الواقع حتى يكون هناك فعليا محقق التحول والتطور بهذا المقاس وبهذا الوقت. Flowing from and into that are the local and national media, traditional and new media. Take for example the Saut radio podcast network. Saut means voice in Arabic, and voice is precisely what's been given to ordinary people, phoning into question and challenge their representatives. In Peace to People is a podcast show from two seasons, each with 13 episodes. It's based uh, on interviewing the MPs uh, live uh, and on politic uh, political hot topics and broadcasted on, on the local radios around Jordan to reach wider audience. Through this show, um, through having the MPs on our studios and having the channels open for uh, the audiences to ask questions and receive answers, we believe that we will arm them uh, with a, a proper amount of information that is accurate uh, and that is balanced and fair at the same time. We can help them 
make the right decision when it comes to politics. And over time too, as EU JDID is a long-term programme designed for sustainability. We aim uh, until the end of the project to uh, continue to consolidate our support uh, to the various stakeholders in the dem democratic process in uh, Jordan, um, as well as contributing to, to the, the, the implementation of some recommendations uh, that the, the authorities of Jordan may wish to, to, to implement following the EU uh, election observation missions of 2013 and 2016, uh, which would be a very tangible um, outcome of this project. What does it all lead to? And when will it next be tested? Jordan is preparing for general elections in 2020. It will mark another milestone on the democratic road the Kingdom chose back in 2012, supported from start to finish by the EU and its implementing partners.